Hello. Welcome back to Nani Snook and Truth Talks. Um, just wanted to share a little bit about forgiveness and, um, you know, some of my, we talk about sharing our experiences, our strength, and our hope. And um, in the background, you'll see moving things around here at Nani Snook. I constantly can't figure out quite where I want to put the, the memory wall. We're in progress. Um, my daughter's over there, my sister, pictures of my dad, uh, my grandparents, there's my vet's flag and his urn and his, one of his, he had two infamous hats that he wore almost all the time except for the last few weeks. Um, anyway, forgiveness, really quick, Lord's Prayer. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Wow. Um, got to walk that out in a really beautiful way. And I think we forget that. we So often we said the Lord's Prayer here every day, the serenity prayer frequently. Um, Mark wasn't really big on the serenity prayer there at the very end because um, he refused to accept what his body was doing to him. So... Um, so, side note, uh, that the, just hours before he died, he kept asking me to pray with him, and I remember, um, he, he was fighting because he, he couldn't stand, he couldn't sit, um, his body was just shutting down, and, um, he had to go to the bathroom, and I know this isn't the video I was intending to talk about that, we'll talk about that more, but anyway, and he just kept asking me to pray with him, and I started off on the serenity prayer, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, and I just like hit a brick wall, I'm like, no Lord, I'm like, okay, and so we just switched into another prayer, because he wasn't accepting that his body would no longer do what he wanted it to do, um, and uh, that was his, that was his end of life battle right there. Um, he wanted to stand up to go to the bathroom. Okay, more on that one later, but back to forgiveness. I got to learn that it's, life is a journey, and there are times when there are certain things that happen and you know that this is your final exam for this certain class or this certain phase, and forgiveness. I'm still working on it, um, but forgiving. We went through wars together, he and I. He was a narc. Um, he was wounded, extremely wounded, and um, mentally and emotionally. But um, how many times do we think about that? If we want God to forgive us, we have to forgive others. It's a choice. It don't feel like it. That comes, you know, and it's just like, God, help me forgive them. There's a great book out, one of my most favorite books, um, How to Forgive What You'll Never Forget. I'll try to post it in the comments below exactly. Because there's a couple out there, but this particular one is just fantabulous, in my opinion. Anyway, um, yeah, forgiveness is a choice. And if we want to be forgiven, you know, the, the golden rule says, treat others as you would have them treat you. Well, we want to be forgiven. We want second chances. Um... So we should also forgive others. God is love. Love is grace, mercy, forgiveness. Um, now I'm no way, absolutely not, um, saying that one should stay in harm's way. Always be safe. Um, if you're in an abusive relationship, don't just, you know, let your kids or your, yourself be abused. There's a time and a place um, to leave, to get out. I said leave. Not all, divorce is not always the answer. Divorce is very rarely the answer. 
um, separation, lots of prayer, but above all, making sure you, you and your kids are safe. But, little digression. Forgive. Forgive. Um, you know, if, if you don't know, uh, Mark was my third husband. Truly the love of my life. Um, so it was a storybook novel romance, right? He, we had it all, including reconciliation and love winning in the end. And that is a blessing <laughs> Whew. I wouldn't have had if I didn't fight for love, if I didn't fight for peace, if I didn't pray for his peace and our peace and our salvation. And um, it's not as long as I would have liked, but our last months together, while eventful, we're good. What a blessing. You know, I don't get to add, I don't have to add divorce number three. Um, although, my, you know, my first husband was a Luciferian. That's 20 years of extreme abuse. Second husband was a polygamist. Um, and I was third or fourth wife. I don't, I don't know, because he had a, a couple in another country. Um, only one other one in the United States. Um, yeah, two in another country. Yeah, I was fourth. <laughs> yeah, two in a country, one here, and then two of us in the states. Anyway, um, and then this one, you know, and I just an amazing, amazing man with great potential. But he was wounded, and he was lost in his own woundedness, and therefore he created havoc. So much. So much pain, so much heartache, so much havoc. And forgiveness wins. Y'all, you just don't know. A little Southern came out there. Forgive. And if you don't know how, ask God, help me to forgive, because I did. Help me to see this person the way you see them. Um, and there will be blessings in that. Love God, love people. Always, always love, always do good, always trust God, even when you don't feel like it. You know, again, I'm going to pull up Romans 8, 28, for we know that all things work together for good for those of us who love God and are called according to his purposes. That's a promise. It will not in the ways you expect. Don't ever think, oh, it's going to work out this way, this way, this way, or this is what I'm going to get out of it. Because it's hardly ever what we think it's going to be. Love wins. Forgiveness is key. If we want to be forgiven, we must forgive others. Side note again, does not mean you have to stay in relationship. I spent years trying to forgive my husband and for the things that he said and did. And it was crunch time because he was on, on he was um, on at home hospice and we were blessed to me and the boys, my adult uh, kids were around too, but th that the three of us, me and the, the boys, our boys um, did, you know, 97% of it, it all. Okay, all of it. Um, 97, 98%. Eight, they helped a little bit, the other kids, because they just weren't around. But anyway, whoa, rambling. Um, forgiveness. It works. It is not easy. But remember, if we want to be forgiven, we have to forgive. And yet, and again, I'm going to drag Christ on that because I really want people to understand because I was told so long and I don't want you to, people to, I don't want that message to go out 
that you have to be in a relationship like you forgive and forget well no you don't forget this that pain and that ugh, and that face that you make when you talk about them um, when you forgive isn't there anymore it's a fact you talk about the facts but they don't oh you and you don't do the eye roll when they're mentioned or you know things like that there are people I'm still struggling to forgive it's a process um, because I don't want that feeling. It's not a good feeling. It steals our joy. So always love. Always do good. Always trust God. Always. Okay. That will help you be blessed. Talk later.